fluent in Finnish? Everyone pads their resume a little. Sorry. Do not open that closet! Where is it? Where is that credit card? Confessions of a Shopaholic. I gotta give you a high five for a great job in the movie. Thanks. And double high five, of course, because V Mars and uh, Gilmore Girls, ah. all the way around, huge fan. So oh, thank I was you. wondering, are you taking applications for friends? Because I'm thinking I want to be your friend now. Because I'm like the best, best friend ever. I think so. So honestly, you must not have been acting. That's just your easy walk on the set. You get a phone Yeah, in, that's yeah? it. I'm just like that in real life. Wow. No, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, obviously, you are. You seem very peppy and, and very friendly, but. I want to talk about uh, who thinks up these things in this movie, vacuum pressing clothes and stuff like that. Have you ever heard of that before? Um, you know, it's funny. I have. I've seen the infomercials, and my, my mom, I think, even has one of those things. And um, I lived out of a suitcase for the past, like, decade or something, and uh, I've used those bags oh. to cram everything in. It, and it doesn't wrinkle the clothes or anything? No, it's oh. pretty genius. <laughs> I thought that I would go into this movie maybe learning a little bit more about women, and I think I'm a little more afraid. I'm not really sure. Uh, oh, really? I mean, I, yeah, I did, I'm not sure because I'm thinking I didn't. You know, I'm, I don't understand like the, the obsession with clothes and, uh, and 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 shopping and so I never understood that. But uh, is is that just in women's DNA or? <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I think men like to shop, too. Dudes are into cars and yeah, okay. I guess whatever. On, on a different Sneakers. level and so forth like that. I mean, you're pretty well-dressed. Oh, well, not really. I, I, I try my best, but uh, I, I wear the same thing in every interview. That way I don't have to shop. Yeah. You know, change the color shirt, nobody knows anything. Sure, sure. Like, like that. What is the deal with the bridesmaids' dresses? All I've ever heard from the moment I was born is how ugly they are, but... Someone doesn't understand. I mean, there's something happens when you that women don't get it, or, or I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know. I I I have I don't get it either, to be honest. But for the for the bridesmaid dress in the movie, I think the the idea behind that was um, uh, Sue's my character. Her mother is like kind of on top of everything and meddling a little bit, so she lets her do the bridesmaid's dress. Okay. She's a little quirky. Right. And, right. Um, and. Uh, it's a really colorful, kind of hideous dress. But fun. I think yeah. it's still fun. But obviously, Rebecca Bloomwood doesn't think so. Looks like uh, Susan's, her apartment looks like fun. Obviously, Isla's character, uh, a little bit of a you know, chaos. What is your room like at home? Is it neat, orderly, or? Minimal. Minimal. I have furniture that I um, shipped with me from Brooklyn that <laughs> okay. I have found on the street. Because I'm living in Los Angeles right at this moment. Right. And um, I have like five things. It's all I need. Very simple. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a creative person, so I like to keep all the clutter in my head and keep everything else pretty pretty sterile. So you travel with an overnight bag. Don't need anything more. Than I that. live out of a suitcase. All of my favorite things will fit into a su two suitcases. So if you're living in, in L.A., because I, I, all I ever hear is about when people film in New York City that you can't control, like, the crowds or the people and so forth. Is it different filming in New York versus anywhere else? Is it um, I have only done one movie in L.A., um, so mm -hmm. I don't know. And we were on location for that as well, so it felt the same. Uh, when you're shooting in New York, when you have someone like Isla in the movie that, you know, is uh, definitely on the map, you have paparazzi everywhere and people stopping, and that was a little, that was a little weird at first, because I hadn't experienced that before. So you're doing a scene, and here's like, you know, photographer is snapping away, you're like, what are they doing? <laughs> Stop it! But <laughs> I, I was really, I, I, the buzz about this movie is just... I, I, my friend, she begged me, begged me. You got to take me to see this movie. You got to take. Me. I, 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 are you getting people that are really excited to see it? They, they know you're in it. And um, you know, it's funny. I live under a rock and I, I work all the time, so I don't Minimal know. Minimal rock, though. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, minimal size, nothing too big. You yeah, know. <laughs> but when I do, the other night, um, I, I was going out to get pizza and I dressed like just a loser. I was like just throwing on my UGG boots and a big like boyfriend's hoodie. I'm like, do you think I should wear this? Like, what if? And then, of course, somebody was like, oh, I love you in the movie. I'm like, oh, what am I wearing? <laughs> so that happens so infrequently, though. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I yeah. think some, some girls are, are perking up about it. Yeah. Enjoyed the film immensely. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Nice.